We're, uh, we've heard a lot about the Senate races. One of the uh, key races uh, that we have for the Democrats to take over the Senate will be in Texas. Um, and Ted Cruz is in a minor panic. Um, here is, um, well, let's do Ted Cruz wishing that Democrats wouldn't be so quick to blame cops in the case of, uh, Botham Jean's, um, murder. Remember in this instance, it was a cop who killed him in Botham Jean's house because the cop was supposedly disoriented, didn't know what house she had got into, broke into what was not her house, realized there was what she thought was an intruder in what she thought was her house, then shot the man dead. And here's Ted Cruz saying, you know, folks, don't be so quick to judge. I wish Beto O'Rourke and Democrats weren't so quick to always blame the police officer, always attack the police officer. She may have been in the wrong. She's facing legal proceedings, and if a jury of her peers... Pause it. In what possible scenario, in what possible scenario is a cop who enters into someone else's house, thinking it's their house, shoots the person living in that house dead, how are they not in the wrong? I mean, you could say they didn't have any malevolent atent, uh, intent, maybe. Well, the even answer, in every, but how could they not be in the wrong? The answer used to be we found drugs in the, in, on him. Well, but even if they found drugs, why did she go in there? It wasn't to look for drugs. She doesn't even make that claim. Hey, spider senses. He was Shh. dangerously black. Okay. How could how could that officer not be in the wrong? And if a jury of her peers concludes uh, that, that, that she behaved wrongly, then, then, then she'll face the consequences. But, but I don't think we should jump to conclusions. Yeah. Well, here is uh, Beto O'Rourke um, at a, uh, a church in Dallas. And um, jumping, I think, to the most obvious conclusion. How can it be in this day and age in this very year, in this community, that a young man, African American, in his own apartment, is shot and killed by a police officer. And when, when we all want justice, and the facts, and the information to make an informed decision, what is released to the public? That he had a small amount of marijuana in his kitchen. How can I be just in this country? How can we continue to lose the lives of unarmed black men in the United States of America at the hands of white police officers? That is not justice. That is not us. That can and that must change. Are you with me on this? Um. I don't know what's going to happen in that race, but um, that contrast between those two uh, clips is is pretty st striking. Counterpoint. Why are we mean to cops? But uh, Ted Cruz, um, really digging deep, writes that PETA protested our town hall yesterday handing out barbecued tofu. We were glad to welcome them, but it illustrates the stakes of the election if Beto wins, barbecue will be illegal. And then he wah, puts a wah. joke thing. I mean, um, I don't get the joke. But that's his sense of humor, though. That's what that's how you're supposed to feel. Uh, uh, Matt made the point of like, just imagine like you were living down the street and Beto O'Rourke lived eight blocks to your left. I mean, eight uh, houses down to your left. And um, Ted Cruz moved, uh, lived eight houses down to your right, and you got invited to a barbecue at Iowa Nova Places. Like, <laughs> how hard would you try and get out? Just to forget about their politics. How hard would you try and get out of going to uh, Ted Cruz's house? You would definitely glance over the fence over at Ted Cruz's barbecue to see who else is there before. Oh, my God. I don't. You would have a days, weeks in advance set of lies to not be there. <laughs> I would book a trip that was unplanned. Right. So as to avoid that. 
You've never done that before. Which one of our relatives are we going to plan is ill? Literally. Uh